Hello everyone and welcome back to Maytech. In my last video, I showed you how to make these laser cut knife handles on the Xtool S1. We did these in a variety of different designs and some different woods like the walnut and the paduk woods we have here. If you want to check out that video, I'll have a link to it in the description below. This video will be a continuation of that video where we're going to show you how to engrave the actual blade of the knife using the new infrared laser module for the S1. Just before we get into that, if you haven't done so, please make sure to subscribe to the channel so we can continue growing. There are multiple ways to engrave metals with a laser. The first method is to use a dedicated fiber laser that can be quite expensive. The other traditional way of engraving metal is to use a laser marking spray like this Surmark. I've done a video on using these sprays and I'll link it below if you're interested. In this video, we'll be using the relatively new method and that will be using an infrared laser. Now this particular infrared laser from Xtool is a module that easily plugs in to your current Xtool S1 machine. Now from the outside, this module looks very similar to the normal laser module that comes with your Xtool. The difference being is this module will allow you to engrave all metals and it will allow you to engrave these metals without any sort of messy marking sprays. It will also allow you to engrave most plastics without melting them and even some ceramics like tiles can be engraved with it without the need of using any sort of paint. Now typically these infrared lasers are used to mark jewelry like these pendants but I'm gonna show you how to use it to engrave the blades of these stainless steel knives. The last benefit of these infrared lasers is they typically also have a very fine beam, which allows you to engrave a lot of precise detail. Before we start using the infrared module, the first thing we need to do is install it into the S1. This process is fairly simple and straightforward. Start by removing the depth sensor on the current module. Then, using the hex screwdriver that came with the X tool, remove the two screws at the top of the module. You can then go ahead and remove your air hose and your cable from the side. The current module is now free to be pulled out and removed. You can now take the infrared module and plug it into place. Once it's in place, Install the two retaining screws at the top and tighten them. You can then reconnect the cable and the hose on the side. The last step is to reinstall the depth sensor and make sure the pin is in the upright position. And that's it, the module is ready to go. The software we're going to use for our knife engravings is the Xtool Creative Space. You can, of course, use Lightburn, but I'll be using the Xtool software because I want to use the precise marking area feature. This feature allows me to exactly place where the machine's going to engrave so that I don't have to worry about my engravings being off center or overlapping onto areas I don't want them to. You can access this feature by pressing the start marking button on the right hand side menu. Once you do, this window will pop up for you to select an area marking mode. For this project, I'll be selecting the polygon marking mode. To use this feature, you're going to take the red crosshairs that are projected by the module and moving the module around by hand, you're going to place the crosshairs at different points, creating an exact perimeter around your engraving area. After each point placement, You'll want to press the button on the S1. This will allow the point to register within the software. So essentially what you are doing is creating a fence around the area that you want engraved. Within the Xtool Creative Space software, this is what it looks like as your points are being created. Once you're done creating your points, click End Masking and then Done. This will give you a polygon in the shape that you marked off on your main workspace. You can now take your engraving and do its placement within this polygon 
to get your engraving to engrave exactly where you want it. Now I've already went ahead and taken one of the images that I want to engrave, which is the silhouette of this bear up here. And I cropped this image to fit inside the polygon that I already created. Now I'm just going to go ahead and place this image within the polygon area here. Once I have that where I like it, I can go ahead and engrave the image onto the knife blade. The settings I'll be using is the power set to 100, the speed set to 6, and I will have the lines per centimeter set to 180. Now that the front side is done engraving, we are going to go ahead and using exactly the same method, engrave the silhouette of these wolves on the opposite side. We'll be using the same settings of a power of 100, a speed of 6, and lines per centimeter of 180. For my other knife blade, I have this floral design, and I'll be engraving this design on both sides of the knife, so one side will simply just be a mirror copy of the other side. And I will be using the same engraving settings as I used for the previous two engravings. So here we have the completed knives. The only thing I did to finish off these knife blade engravings was to wipe them down with some rubbing alcohol after they were done engraving. I do really like the way these turned out. Here we have the outdoor themed knife and the silhouettes turned out a nice deep black just like I wanted them to. I also went ahead and made these wood sheaths for these knives and I'll be releasing a short video on how I made those soon. And here we have the knife with the floral design on it. And I'm also really happy on how this turned out. The laser did a great job of rendering all those little fine details. So if you want to find out more about the infrared module for the Xtool S1, I'll have a link for that in the description below. If you have any questions on this video, please make sure to leave them in the comments and I will get to them as quick as possible. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already and remember to hit that notification bell and if you've liked this video make sure to give it a thumbs up thanks for watching everyone